Welcome to a new live stream here from our car truck studio in Essen, Germany. Uh, great that you tuned in. Um, if you are live, perfect. Um, uh, chat with us. We have our chat here so that we can also uh, um, communicate with you. So feel free to, um, to, to uh, send us information, questions whatsoever. And if you are seeing this uh, later, then certainly leave comments below. We are answering all the comments. Today is a very interesting topic. It's shut up and action. Uh, it's, it's an English translation of the uh, book Klappe und Action uh, by nobody uh, else than Rainer Mees and Thomas uh, Heine, the guys from Paralabs. It's a very interesting book. Um, it's in German language, so no worries. Uh, the topic of the book and also of this stream will be how to deal with hacklers uh, without losing your face, without losing the, uh, the connection with your audience. And this will be a very interesting topic. Uh, Rainer knows a lot about it. And before we start, here's the intro. Yeah, today uh, we already did the German stream and we struggled a little bit with our audio. I think we already solved everything. So, uh, hi Rainer, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. So, I'm done with the dinner tonight. So, it was really great and I was so hungry before. Yeah, hey, but, nice. I see, but I see the most German guys are online as well. Maybe they, they think they, they lost something before. But, uh, yeah, well, at so. least they, uh, they will see uh, uh, no sound. I see myself when is when you are talking. Is everybody seeing the uh, seeing us? Is hearing a sound of Rainer and of me? Say something, Rainer. Uh, test, test, test. One, two, three. <laughs> it's a car trucks, a car, a car truck stream without any trouble. Isn't it a car truck stream? Yeah. Huh? Is it, it really without sound? Because I no see sound? the. I see everything here um, and it looks great. Perfect sound now. So here we go. I think it's come on. Oh, yes. Nah. <laughs> I think they're just making fun with us, uh, of us. Uh, that is perfect. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a really interesting topic. Uh, and um, yeah, well, it's all about um, yeah, how big are, you, are your balls when, when performing? No, that's not uh, the truth. Um, what, hey, Robert. What, what made you uh, write this book and uh, what was the experience? Why, why did you start the book? Uh, because of money. No, just kidding. It was a, the idea was because Thomas and I, we are professional speaker in our main job. So um, I'm working as a, as a speaker, as a teacher for more than 28 years. Thomas for more than 35 years. And uh, we came up with the... Um, idea that even in a in a performance situation uh, also in, in in a teaching situation you have a lot of hecklers in the audience and uh, yeah the idea was to write something about uh, how to struggling with the hecklers and then we ask a lot of professional uh, performers like uh, bob cassidy for example when he was still alive and we got uh, so amazing feedback regarding their, 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 their experience. And then, yeah, we decided to, to write it in a book and this is the result you have it, uh, yeah, you have in your hand, you're holding in your hand. So, and yeah. it's about how to struggle with, uh, with hecklers and maybe also how to struggle with small descent heckler situations. It's not all about the big hecklers. So it's, it's more about, yeah, some, some hecklers you, you, you have always in the audience, in your, yeah, in the audience, independent of uh, what you're doing. Yeah, I think, we, well, we, we both are Germans. So uh, when we are talking about hecklers, that's the word that we always hear uh, from uh, the English native speakers. Uh, well, I don't even know if heckler is the right word for it. Let's say it's, uh, it's uh, a person who is disturbing our performance or whatever we are doing. And I would not yeah. even say, well, if you are searching on YouTube, then you will find a lot about uh, how comedians deal with hecklers and, and, and beat them in a really terrible way. Um, but we don't want to go that, that route. Uh, we, we try to be as nice as possible. 
uh, without losing our our uh, lead in the uh, in the performance. So um, yeah, what what is your first approach? I, I think the uh, the Americans are yeah more or less very strict, very rude. Uh, yeah, the, the performers. Let's say the performers. Yes. Yeah, but but you know you know the rules in America are different to the rules in Germany, and Ger the Germans are so. Uh, how should I call it in English? Uh, so, di, 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 uh, how should I call it in English? I have some ideas correct. in mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the Germans are so, so let's call it straight. And uh, yeah, you have to be careful with uh, struggle with them. So, and in America, they are much more straightforward. What I like, to be honest, not only in America, it's in, in the UK, it's the same. Um, the Germans are, yeah, engineers. So they are thinking about engineers. They are, um, um, yeah, the, the, the behavior is like an engineer. So everything is so straightforward. I have to discuss about it. Uh, I'm not agree with what you're saying, blah, blah, blah. And that's different in the US and in, in, in the UK. So from time to time, I wish uh, that I would perform in the US or in the UK. But in Germany, it's different. So you have to... Uh, to struggle, <laughs> yeah, Germans are so German, yes, <laughs> Tobias, thank you, that's so correct, and I know <laughs> what I'm speaking about, because, you know, I trained a thousand of persons um, in my life, also in my main shop, and it's always the same, it, it's no difference, uh, even if but, you are, but you, if you are it, but you did it not only in Germany, you, you had, um, yeah, European performances, yeah. Uh, and more international ones, just for all the guys who don't know Rainer, he is uh, uh, one of the two uh, guys uh, who do who are paralabs. Yeah. And uh, so you're well known in the in the mentalism community, etc. Uh -huh. um, as you have published, oh, you both. How many books have you already published? Let's. The last book, which is published last week, is the thirteenth book, zero, three zero. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Uh, you know what you're talking about. Definitely. Yes. Uh, for sure. Yeah. 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 But there is, of course, a difference between magic audience and uh, audience in, in, in business context. Of course, it's different. But you have to know how to how to, to work with them, how to struggle with them. So and that was the idea to write our experience down in the book and also ask some really great performers all, of the, uh, all over the world what we did. And uh, yeah. If, if you read the book already, then you know the, the comments from uh, Bob Cassidy, for example. It's so funny. It's so amazing. And then you can also see the difference between Germany and the rest of the world. So, guys... Uh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't go too deep into the book because it's not available in English, right? <laughs> uh, we have written it in English as well, but it's not available yet. But we will, uh, we will uh, publish it in English. Uh, very soon, very soon, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Maybe but, it could be an electronic uh, uh, booklet like the PDF files that we did for Momentous Oddities or uh, Miracles. We have to speak about uh, Christian. We have to nice. speak about Nice, but it. it's nice that you're working on the English version as well. I also yeah. saw that, that uh, Eugene Berger did... Uh, um, um, yeah. um, three, how, how is it called? A forward? Forward, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, YouTube uh, burger, very, very nice. Um, so you were you're already working on this book for a longer time, and Eugene even we, know knew the context, not context. Yes, yes. We 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 have written the first version of this book, poor I think six eight years, six years, six seven years ago, maybe. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So Bob Cassidy was still alive, and Bob Cassidy died in two thousand seventeen, I think. Um, yeah, I think so. To, uh, maybe, maybe uh, one of the guys uh, knows, the, know, uh, knows the exact uh, date, but I think it was 2017. And yeah, it, it was so amazing to write about because nothing is available on the market. But And if you know us, we don't publish something because it is not available on the market or because of uh, making money. It's more because of our own interest. So everything we are developing, what we are doing, what we are writing, is because of our own um, yeah, interests. And that was still in our focus because Thomas and me, we had a really nice conversation about our experience um, with hecklers, with the with stage and also edu uh, education, education uh, uh, situation is the right word, yeah? 
Edu yeah, education, uh, yeah, yeah, of teaching course. Teaching situations, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then we decided to write all our experience down. It is the half of the book, so 200 pages or 180 pages. And then we also ask, like I said before, some good friends all over the world, and they uh, provide us so, so funny stories about Hecklers. And that was the, yeah, the reason that we decided to create a book and to publish it on a, in, a, in a magic community. Um. Well, uh, summing it up, um, you would say, what, what is your most preferred way how to deal with uh, the, 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 the problems in the audience? My preferred way is to uh, ask the spectator or the audience member to joining me on stage uh, without um, telling him why. And then I start a discussion. I, I know it sounds weird, but... You know, I'm actually a professional speaker in the in a, in a tech uh, uh, in the tech community, and uh, yeah, that's my way to handle to handle the situation. But it's not the 100% surefire method. It's my method. I ask them to join me on stage. They have no clue why, um, and then I yeah start a conversation with them. And uh, if the situation will. Uh, become really weird. I hand the microphone to him, and then I leave stage. So uh, stage, or yeah, you know what I mean. And that's my way to uh, to handle it. But it's not the a hundred percent surefire way. It's my way. I can handle it, and uh, I had really really nice situations, uh, yeah, like this in the, in the, in the last twenty eight twenty eight years. That sounds amazing. Yeah, you 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 talked about uh, a very cool way how uh, a guy, uh, a friend of yours is handling a heckler um, uh, in a studio. Uh, I'm not sure yeah, if, yeah. if you want to that's, want to tell this here. Yeah, yeah, that's really funny. I love it. But don't copy it because it's not my idea. But yeah. a good friend of mine, he is a warm up guy in a studio, a TV studio. So warm up guys or warm upper, uh, we call it warm upper. They do nothing else than uh, to, to, to give some fire into the audience before the TV, uh, the, the show is starting. So they show them how to clap their hands, how to react on special, uh, in, in, in certain special situations. It, and it's then, uh, literally a real pre-show work. Yeah, it's a pre-show. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a, yes. <laughs> it's a pre-show. <laughs> With a and different then, meaning yes, form into this, but... Doesn't yeah, and, and always he told me, uh, he told me, Thomas, his name is really Thomas, and he told me, Rainer, always there is one guy or a woman, most of the time guys, so, so uh, men, who are the, uh, the alpha guys, the alpha guys in the audience. Yeah, they are louder and more direct and more offensive. And yeah, they, everybody knows, okay, we will have a lot of fun with these guys at this evening. And then he's asking him to join him on stage. Yeah, so, hey, what's your, what's your name? Let's say Christian. Ah, oh, Christian. And you, you are here alone? No, with my girlfriend. That's the thing he's looking for uh, if, the, if he's uh, still in the audience with, uh, with a partner. Yeah. And then he's like, okay, with your girlfriend. Okay, that's interesting. And then he's... Uh, Spotting the girlfriend, I say, okay, let's say the girlfriend's name is Simona. As it uh, Simona, it's not the first time we met Christian and me. We had a long discussion before, and at this moment, this guy has no idea what ha what's happening now. And I say, okay, and now Christian will ask you the questions of all questions. I hope it's the right English. And then he hand the microphone, the hand mic to him, and then Thomas is leaving the stage. So, and then a whole audience is waiting yeah, for the questions of all questions. And that's so, <laughs> so funny. And this is, I, I saw it several times and I can, I can tell you that's so, so amazing. It's so funny. And this is the moment where the loudest, the aggressive and also the, the dominant guy is, become, is becoming, an, an, let's say, a shy sheep. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So funny. And, and yeah, that's... Uh, a really really nice uh, way yeah. to, to catch to catch a heckler i hope it's clear what I'm yeah like one day I, I really have to have to 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 take this advice and do it in a private uh, party or whatever it, it's really yeah. funny oh my god yeah hey uh that that that's really cool um to to deal with that uh, i know the answer to the question of all questions it's 42 mm -hmm. as you know in case you have, uh, you know, the Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. 
No? Uh, say it again, say it again. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Fernhalter durch die Galaxis. Ah, I don't know it. I don't know it. Yeah. Oh, the question to all questions. I think it took a thousand years for a machine to solve what, it. 43? 43? Something like 42. that? 42. 42 is the 42, answer. Yeah, so yeah. that's all what is coming out as the... So what is the answer to all the questions yeah. of all the universe yeah. and whatsoever? And it's 42. And then it shuts <laughs> up and it doesn't say anything more. <laughs> yeah. too, you have, to, you have I, to watch it or to read it. It's so good. I just, there's a really nice story from Bob Cassidy. I, I love Bob Cassidy and he's still, he's still dead. So, so bad. And he told me a story when he, he, he performed a lot in nightclubs. So uh, nightclubs like, like a motorcycle nightclub. So really, really the strong way. Yeah. The hard way. And uh, he had a nice anti heckling sentence. If somebody uh, starts heckling him and he said, Hey, Why are you so bad to me? Why are you so angry? Yeah, one hour before when we met on the toilet, you were so, so nice to me. Much nicer than all other guys I met on the toilet. That was his answer. <laughs> That's nice. yeah, so, it's written in a book, by the way. And I, I, I hope uh, it, it will uh, be understandable in my poor English, but it's, it's really, it's so funny when you read it. Uh, Yeah, when you read the, the story from Bob Cassidy, I love it. So it's also a nice, a nice version, and I used it uh, to be honest several times at the bar. Yeah. Oh, that works great. Um, yeah. Talking about bar, when was the last time you were able to perform? Uh, three days ago. Seriously, in, in yeah. a bar, or was yeah. it a, what is it? Was it a normal booking? No, it was at a bar. I was out in Cologne in a bar with a good friend of mine. You know him, Philip. And uh, we was first, we, we visited the Christmas market for two or three Glühwein. And uh, yeah, and then uh, we went uh, in, a, in a small bar in Cologne. We had to do a Corona test and that was really, really uh, yeah, weird. We had to do a Corona test for three euro. We had to pay it, pay for it. Um, even I'm, I'm um, vaccinated. Like yeah. And then, yeah, and we was in a bar and it was full. The bar was totally full and we had a lot of fun in the evening. Yeah. And then I did some... Uh, Uh, did some performances, uh, mentalism performances, yeah. I like the idea that, uh, well, if everybody is tested, then uh, you can really be in a crowded place and feel much more safe, at least. Yeah, I, would I hope so. That is, uh, I and saw... The rest, it... Yeah, that, that would be politically whatever, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did something similar over the weekend. I was in, on Saturday, I was uh, at a meeting with 200 people invited. Yeah. Uh, here in Germany, we have the 2G uh, rules now, so that means uh, you, on, you only get in if you are vaccinated, already cured. And mm -hmm. um, so, but they offered to make a free test that didn't cost anything on the outside, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, we, we don't even know if they did it or not, but it, it felt nice to, to offer it as well. So, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, we know that here um, already there are Yeah, several changes happening that, that several um, parts of Germany are getting closed and magicians are not performing anymore or cannot, be, uh, cannot perform that, bad, that good. Uh, good luck to all of you guys um, to get through this hard time worldwide as well, for sure. But Christian, uh, yes. Christian if we are talking about uh, lockdowns and some, 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 some uh, weird stuff, What's about online performances? I would really uh, be interested in uh, how they, the guys out there are performing. A lot of uh, customers of mine, of mine, they are doing online shows, performing online. We decided also doing an online lecture in, in English. Uh, yes. Uh, my lecture in, in English. So it's also a, a way to transport information and uh, topics uh, into the world uh, without um, the personal contact. So that would really interest. It's really interesting from interesting for me how how they are struggling around the world with uh, the situation. And in Germany, um, yeah, a lot. And, and lot. that's the idea. Well, um, I was I was already thinking that. Well, we we. <clears throat> It, it doesn't matter what will happen in the future. Let's say one or two years, hopefully everything will be a thing of the past. However, the, uh, the possibility of doing magic over Zoom or over a communication medium like um, yeah, what we are doing right now over video um, is giving you totally new possibilities. And I think that even if Christmas parties um, of companies, etc., are 
are um, cancelled. There mm-hmm. still should be something available for all the all the uh, all the employees, etc., to be entertained. And because it's really a, a tough time, not hanging out with your with your colleagues, etc., once a year. So um, I think there's a big, big, big market uh, growing uh, where you where you can do magic as well over camera. And here's the thing: certainly, there are so many magicians who say. I can only do this uh, if I have a direct contact with the spectator. I can only do it like this. I would never ever be, uh, be able to do it um, mm-hmm. outside just uh, with a camera in front of me and then, and then doing the magic. I think if you are really opening up to this possibility, it allows you so much more than before. I mean, yeah, that's that's one important point. Abs- absolutely, it allows you uh, doing a lot more than before. But you have also some uh, restrictions, of course. But you have to to work with both sides. And uh, what I'm missing in the old magic community is a, in my case, yeah, a mentalist yeah. performance, which could be possible online. But most of the time, it's more mental magic. It's not an competition between mentalism and mental magic it's just a question but uh, how's the difference between this two uh, styles you know you know i hope it's clear what i mean and i think there are a lot of possibilities which are which are not reached uh, in the moment I, I to be honest i saw not many really good mentalism online actions online shows uh, i saw a lot good uh, magic shows of course there were a lot my, you, as you know uh, my son- yes I, I now as you're saying it, uh, as you're saying it uh, uh, yeah i can uh, uh, um, yeah i can i can agree on this uh, i have not seen any mentalism show over over the over uh, yeah the, the zoom call or whatsoever not, yeah. not at all yeah, but why not? Why not? But what's the problem? You know, the, 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 the people outside there, they have no clue what, uh, what they will see, what they will imagine, what they will feel. And uh, there's a lot more than a black art principle, than some, some app magic and some stuff. So, yeah. And I think my the methods, well, you have to come up with, with other ideas, etc., where you do, well, uh, most of the of the time, um, um, a basic, basic part of mentalism is how to how to gather information and uh, and then later to reveal them. Let's say this way. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. This this certainly all this all these methods, the classical methods that you would know in in in, in contact with the spectator would not work. However, I think mm. not the classical ones. Now it's the 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 idea. What could you do so that it would even work over the uh, in, in distance, right? How could you gather information in distance without, yeah, and, without and, letting them know that you know something? And distance is on the other side also a chance. Distance means you can do something so special and what you cannot do uh, in a theater, for example. And that's something I really missed. I really missed. I saw a lot of magic shows. And like I said, uh, some of them are really great, uh, great thinkers. But to be honest, uh, most of the time you see some card tricks, some app magic, some black art magic. And it's not what I would expect uh, from a mentalism, mentalism show. Even if it's just in English, uh, in English, it's <laughs> online. It's just <laughs> online. Yeah. So, and uh, you know, um, I I did I did a lot of consultings um, uh, regarding the these kind of shows, but yeah, how, how should I say? It's most guys, uh, the most magicians out there, they 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 don't trust themselves to going the extra mile. And that's really not bad. That's uh, traurig, we, we, how you would uh, sad, translate it. Sad. It's sad. sad, yeah. It's sad. It's really sad that they are not going the extra mile. And I think we have a lot of possibilities. I could explain you some ideas we came up with. And uh, yeah, I think you have to go the extra mile if you're a professional performer or if, you, if you're offering uh, shows, uh, then you have to go the extra mile. Then it, to thinking, that 
that, uh, that you are just need a small bag which you can transport in a train or an aircraft i think that's the wrong way imagine you would you would go into a, 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 in a into a, a musical and then somebody joining stage and say okay because i just like to travel with a small bag here is a recorder or a, a bluetooth player and now yeah have a lot of fun with the it, with this concert i'm i'm playing from direct from my iphone you know what i mean that is the same situation uh, this, uh, the, uh, i i know exactly i know exactly how to how to call it in german but they, they want to to pack small play big yeah but and why don't, and don't go the extra mile that is necessary yeah. to to uh to to perform a great yeah med, uh, but, but to be honest show. yeah but to be, to be honest uh, uh, play sm uh, pack small and play big actually it's a very arrogant uh, idea it's an arrogant idea uh, the people are, are paying for your for your show for, for for yeah for you as an as a mentalist as a magician and then your own idea is to pack small and play big it's okay if i call you christian and say hey christian should we go to a christmas market so for the uh, uh, for the non-Germans, Christmas market is like a small outdoor market with some booths where you can uh, get some alcohol, some some Christmas stuff, some yeah whatever, yeah. and it's very popular in Germany. So, and if I would ask you, hey, let's go to the Christmas market, then we go in the bar, then it's absolutely okay to pack small. So, put something in your pocket, a pack of a deck of cards, impression device, and, and and dice, whatever, and uh, to perform later, that's fine. But in case you are you are get, you get money for a show, independent if it is online or is live, then thinking just about your package, your bag, that that's that for me it's not understandable. You know that I carried for years, for years, and it's it's uh, right now is it the the the, 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 the truth, the situation that I have a. Uh, um, in craving machine and helium and helium balloons in my car always always and the reason is that i like the situation when i can't go in the in the in the, in the park car uh, car park uh, yeah, car park yeah yeah and crave a ring or uh, um, yeah blow up a helium balloon and i can perform on a level which is not possible if you just pack small is it the right word, pack small? You know, yeah, and that's something yeah, I, 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 it's, it's a common, I common, commonly used. Well, actually, I even have a, a, a laser engraver uh, that that can be uh, that can be run with a USB port. Yeah, and you're ultra portable with it, and do it in your car whatsoever, and you can also prepare stuff um, that that looks so impossible because mm -hmm. um, people would would be would yeah would not be able to believe that this could be done mm -hmm. right. Uh, before the show whatsoever yeah so and and I, I could tell you a lot of ideas we came up with to to perform also in a in a in a casual situation really big and that's something I don't understand I don't understand this kind of thinking it's for me not understandable I don't uh, I, I don't think that everybody should should carry a, a craving machine with him okay and also a helium gas is not needed all the time it's, dep it's uh, yeah depending on your style on your the, the way you you do uh, you are performing but going the extra mile so it, it that's something that will teach you a lot it will teach you a lot it will it will open your mind for different it, you will be outstanding literally you yeah. will be outstanding and you can uh you, you you get a totally different standing with your audience so yeah uh, you should not be uh, you should not be surprised if you don't if, if you are missing bookings etc and and don't get any further when you're just doing the same things over and over again in, in, yeah. in small in small uh um packages yeah but but here's a cool thing i mean if you <laughs> i didn't think about this earlier but when you already said uh, regarding no mentalism shows via zoom um and and going the extra mile it would be interesting to see how you could 
transform the typical methods of a mentalist into something still functional over Zoom so that you can do kind of a um, pre-show even when with Zoom and they would not know or you, I don't know. I mean, I have seen great shows. Uh, one, the, the, the most memorable for me was with Luis de Matos, but that was a magical show and, and really, really cool, great concept and everything and, and high class in a studio. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, that would be interesting. Let's talk about this, if there would be kind of a, a way how to, how to give these tools to mentalists. Because I think I think people or the the magicians and mentalists should really be open to this new medium. They 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 can hate it, but back then the people who hated uh, emails because they loved their fax machines, they are now out of business. I would say. Yeah, you know it's it's all one it's 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 all about a signature routine, one certain special moment, nothing else. It's not about the whole show, not about uh, that that you have to go the extra mile in, for uh, for for every effect or trick or sequence sequence. It's the signature moment you have to create. That's it, and for that you have to go the extra mile, in my opinion. And I had a lot of ideas how how to. Uh, realize it how to create it and what i did once just for an example um i did an, an online show with a good friend of mine it was just for a for a small group of uh, of audience how do you, how you call it a small group of uh, spectators yeah and uh, one of these persons i knew so it was a um, it was a couple which are living in the town where my mother is living, but it's not important if that's the uh, the, the the it's not the, the the important part. Important is that you have to know where they are they are living. And in the best case, it's not so far from you. So that's the basic. That's the that's the the the, the uh, yeah. What should I say? Uh, the situation, the basic situation. Okay. In this case, um, I knew this this couple, and then I called her. And I ask her, the, the, the woman, uh, if they know some some friends who like to join our show. Maybe and I told them, hey, you can invite them. And uh, important would be that uh, that they have no idea that we know us. And yeah, so so I have uh, I like to do some 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 special routine, something really special, and you will have a lot of fun. So a kind of pre-show, okay. It is, so, but it's super, yeah. yeah, and I then see, then she said, "Yes, we have new neighbors. It's really, it's not the job. They told me they have new neighbors, and they're living, they live, they are living between my mother's house and their house on in the same street. I have nothing to do with my mother, but just that you have an idea what I'm talking about. And then, okay, but that you, would be you great. You could imagine how the street looks like because you know the, the the street of your mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the street is not the the topic. The thing was that I asked them to invite them." And then I thought, hey, can you please invite them and they will have a great evening. They have not to pay for the show. And uh, do, you, do you know how they, they how's their, their name? Ah, okay, the name was Tom and Mira. And then I came up with an idea. I said, okay, can we do me a favor? I like to create a really special moment for them. And they, uh, the, the woman, the, 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 my friend, they told me, yeah, they are, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really young couple and they know each other since one year everything is totally em emotional and stuff uh, so and okay then then we do a, we do something special for them would you help me in this case yes she said yes of course and then what i did was i sent uh, them an envelope in this case my son maximilian was visiting my mother that was uh, easy in this case but on the, on the other hand i had i would do nothing else than put something in an envelope and send it to this woman. Yeah. Does it make sense until now? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So far, in this yeah. in this case, my son, um, uh, they they uh, as Maximilian visited his grandma and then he uh, hand this envelope to this woman. In this envelope was uh, a damaged uh, balloon, so a red balloon which was cracked. How you call it? it which was he, well, he already popped. Yeah. I already popped with a with a with a, um, uh, a rope. Okay. Uh, yeah, string a string and, and with an envelope on it. Okay. And then I, I, I told her, please, 
in the moment i'm asking you during the show during the end uh, during the online show to think about uh, to think about that, to 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 check something special out please ask the the woman of this couple so the the, the girl to, to to check out their garden so what it means in the show i showed them a ring it was not engraved and i said okay I will engrave something special in it, but uh, don't uh, say anything to me. And live, I engraved the ring, put it in an envelope. It was a coin envelope. You know them. I have some coin envelopes uh, here. You, you know the small coin envelopes. And then I, 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 I made a thread on it and then a helium balloon. And then I, with the helium balloon and the ring, I, go, I went outside of the theater. It was in Duisburg. And then with the camera, I let the balloon go. Of course, there was no ring in the balloon. It was uh, uh, it was an um, empty envelope. Yeah. Then, yeah. And then I went back in the theater and I asked, okay, imagine that what you have seen now, that it's not done five minutes before, it's done days before. Because it was a recording. Actually, it wasn't a recording because what I needed was uh, the hot information for that. Uh, okay. And now... Um, um, I asked to the, 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 the young girl, please go in your garden and check if my balloon reached you. And I said, no, no way. It's not possible. And so please go out. If it is not possible, we won't find the balloon. But please go in your garden right now. We are waiting for you. And then we will have, we like to know what happened, if the magic happened. And they, she came back with a with uh, the, the, the damage, pop balloon, yeah. the, the pop envelope. balloon with the envelope and with the engraved ring with their names uh, are engraved in the, in the ring. So what I want to tell you is this extra mile, even uh, plus the, the pre-show I had to do, it's so amazing and it's so, that's not possible. You know what I mean? It's not possible. And imagine the, the woman, so my, my friend, of course, as a good friend, also for them, that was a kind of show in the show because the, 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 uh, what they imagined, what they saw was different, but they didn't know from each other. So, oh, no, the, 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 the couple, the neighbors, they didn't know that my friend uh, had a totally different show than they had, you know? Yeah, plus if, if so, it's for more people, it, it, uh, so in the end, two people know that you have the information, for two, is it super special, and the rest of the audience has no idea what was going on, and for them, yeah. it even worked uh, perfect. So wow. yeah. yeah, and and I know it's not always possible, but here in Germany, it, because of the distance, uh, you always find a person who is not living so far from from you, and you can, mm, how should I say, you, you you can go the extra mile. And to be honest, I had no problem to ask a, a friend, a student. Uh, to wait that I hand them something special and then they should start with their car, maybe 50, 80, 100 kilometers, and then uh, creating this, this special, unique moment. I would do that. And I did it in this case. And the, I have it on, on camera, so I can send you the video. It's uh, direction is unbelievable. You know what, what, what is cool? Because uh, we have customers all around the world. Um, yeah. a, a pretty big data database. Would it be nice to have the whole the whole groups of magicians worldwide uh, in the know, so that in case you want to perform something like that for a certain person, get in touch with us, and we will see if we can find someone nearby <laughs> where you need to have something being performed. How cool is that? Yeah. I imagine you you know what we did with the stranger app yeah with the printer the book page the the, the piece of paper in a in a, in a frame at thomas uh, in thomas living room you remember what we all did with philo um, um, with the, with the stranger app which extra mile we 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 went is it right yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah just doing the, the, a special kind of stranger performance and we did it several times. I asked Fido, it was so weird, uh, so so amazing. And this is the point. You can answer your, your call and say, and I think about the card. Yeah, it's a seven of clubs. Ah, thank you. And uh, so hang on.
but that's not that's that's not the extra mile. That's stupid. That's how should I say? That's the deepest, easiest, basic. But if you go the extra mile, it's something so yeah, it's so different. Also for your own feeling. Ask Philo what we did. Philo and me. When we performed The Stranger, if I say we performed The Stranger, that means that Philo was performing and I was creating the, the special mo moment behind the camera. I asked. Uh, uh, I, I have to say for all the guys who see this, uh, this, this YouTube stream and have never heard of The Stranger before, The Stranger is a great app by Jonathan Levitt um, that allows you to call um any stranger around the world and this stranger seemingly stranger on uh yeah any any telephone number that is picked um will be able to reveal anything you want him to mm -hmm. be to reveal and yeah. uh, uh it's it's really a, a strong and strange um magical app i would say the best app out there because it doesn't feel like an app it's it's way way deeper than just that yeah and, yeah. Uh, yeah everybody who is in the stranger group uh, who, who can help others out uh knows the feeling how it how it is how it feels to give the magic to others and not being yeah. uh, openly a magician yeah yeah and and also there you can do something so so easy yeah you know last time when philo did the stranger i was in a restaurant with my girlfriend and a good friend simon from gentleman's hypnosis and then i asked the waiter was a long a young lady as hey Maybe uh, I get a phone call, um, somebody asks you for a playing card, because Philo is always doing the playing card stuff. Yeah. I said, can you do me a favor? Please choose any playing card, don't tell it to anybody. And if I get a phone call and I ask you, just tell me the playing card, and if it is your card, I will see in your face, I will, I will see the amazing face, amazing moment ever. So, and because we are doing the FaceTime function all the time, and then I ask her, that was for the for the audience on the other side. So on Fido's side, I'm a stranger. That I asking inspector the the, the 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 waiter. It's to, totally weird and funny. That's uh, actually something so so special. And then she uh, is revealing the card. So that is, that's mind blowing for the people because also this waiter, the the face, the the, the how you call um, the well, the reaction. Surprise in the her re face because she she really. Well, you had to communicate the chosen card of the waitress to Philo so yeah. that he can follow. Yes, it. yes. So but and this then, extra mile, wow. I have, no, I wasn't there. I was not yeah. there, but I wish I would have seen it. So I, I can yeah. see it. And, and yeah, uh, why not? Um, yeah. Actually, actually, I really would love to see more of the Zoom magic, uh, even in mentalism and mm -hmm. what you could do with it. And maybe besides of our YouTube streams here, we have to sit down and and talk about possibilities because I think there are a lot of different ways that maybe many mentalists, many magicians don't even think about yeah. how to um, get information uh, that you could use um, for um, yeah your mentalism over over video. That's very. But very let cool. me tell you one. Let me tell you one other thing. The extra yeah. extra mile regarding the balloon. It's it's special, of course. You cannot do it every day, and it's not. Uh, you, uh, how you, you you cannot plan it all the time. It's uh, something you have to do if you have the possibilities. But another situation is what you are seeing in online shows. It's just something like a, like a ping pong game. So uh, uh, Christian, can you think about the card? Ah, seven of hearts. That's ah, seven of hearts. There is no reaction. There is no nothing. No magic will happen between this both. Uh, uh, this both people, yeah, the magician yeah. and the, the audience member. But imagine that you are creating a situation where just the the audience member is uh, still on a screen, they see you, and then you have to tell all the uh, other audience member, okay, you will see me looking in this camera. But and, and but I'm now working with Christian. I'm now try to be to to create a connection between you, Christian, your mind and my mind. But all of you. You can see my eyes. You can maybe see what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing, everything. If you look into my eyes, please do it. In the moment, I will uh, create this moment with Christian. Try to get my thoughts, my ideas, my feeling, my emotions. So, and then you start doing, uh, start, uh, yeah, you go straight in the routine. The idea is, the idea is just to 
create magic moments to 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 a different. It's not a miracle. It's not an, uh, an, 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 an how how you can rate show. Uh, it's not an, a quiz game. It's not a quiz game. Thank you. It's something around magic, and something around magic. It's not yeah. It's not a quiz. It's it's mind reading. It's influencing. It's a ma it's all about magic. It's all about the feel. It's feeling a magic situation, and that's uh, really for me. It's impossible. For me, it's it's much more impossible than to getting the next hit because I know a, a, a playing card which is in a spectator's mind. I think you soon have to do uh, your own Zoom show. Are you planning uh, it already? No. I'm not interested doing Zoom shows. I did one, like I told you, it was with some friends. But no, I'm. I have to go on stage. I have to see, feel, touch spectators. Uh, spectators. I, no, Zoom show is not my my cup of tea. No. Um, if I would do it, then I know that the the extra mile would be really important. And uh, I have a man. Uh, no, no, it's it's not my cup of tea. But if I would do it, I would thinking about the extra mile, of course. Yeah, I, I would think really, uh, what what can I do in Zoom, what I could not do on stage? What Because if it's just a copy of something that I do on stage every time or in, in close-up or whatsoever, and I'm just doing it in front of the camera because I have no other choice, okay. But if you have the nice uh, um, possibility to, to play with something that is totally impossible on stage, because mm. uh, uh, the situation is not there and now you have a, a complete control over a camera over certain information over a certain angle etc and and, and 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 you could play with that um, i think if you really have the time and do it it could be very very interesting and 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 rewarding at the end yeah yeah but, yeah but you have to well i know you have another job as well um, I'm very busy being Karchak, um, so it might be a pipe dream for us, but maybe someone... No, it's, a, it's not a pipe dream, but there are really good petitions out there, and uh, I, I did uh, several um, consultings for them, and <clears throat> some but of them... What, start okay, now, when you influence them, and they can come up with it, and, and do the extra work to, to do this, perfect, as long as something gets out there and, <coughs> and, and, and sees the day of the light, so, uh, the yeah. light of the day. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, a lot of ideas available. So it's 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 all about doing it, going the extra mile, nothing else. And one one thing, I, if I if uh, yeah, if I may uh, uh, tell it, um, it's, it's just my, my 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 opinion. Don't watch too many other meditations. And independent, if you're watching in, 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 if you're watching stage shows or online shows. Um, the uh, oh, in English, it's so dangerous that you are just copying routines, behaviors, ideas, and then you lost yourself. You you will lost yourself. I know a lot of magicians. They are asking me about Darren Brown routines and and uh, yeah, whatever you you saw, Derek Del Gaudio and ah oh, after Derek did his show. I got the last request, uh, request how he did the stuff with the cards. Yeah, do, with the... do we sell this and this trick? I, I, I get the same uh, requests if, if a <laughs> TV magician performed something or Fool Penn and Teller after yeah. that. Uh, is this trick available or do you know where I get it whatsoever? And I'm thinking, why don't you just enjoy that someone fooled Penn and Teller, you saw great magic, why do you have to do this? Yeah, Start with something of your own, and don't yeah. have to buy something that already someone else did on TV. And I, you know, I'm I'm not a sleight of hand guy, and I, I I saw a lot of amazing sleight of hand stuff, and I wished I could do it as well, but because I know that's not my cup of tea, I don't do it. I do it for myself, so I have some some coins over here like this, but I do it just for myself because I know it's not professional enough. It's not unique enough that I would uh, perform it out outside there. So, and that's the reason I think about my personality, my way to perform, my 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 persona, uh, my uh, possibilities regarding uh, tricks, techniques, and uh, yeah, technique. So that's that's I think a very 
important um, recommendation. So think about who you are, why you are doing this stuff, what is your favorite uh, sequence, magic trick, and does it fit yourself, your style, your, your way to perform? That's really important. Well, I, I have to, when I think of all this and, and your insights that you have and, and the deep thinking, I, I have to think of the uh, of one release that we did together, uh, that is the Depicting Thoughts, um, um, that is already an older project of you, but yeah. re, re, uh, visited and uh, um, reprinted by me. And the interesting part about this is I don't, well, I have it nearby at least uh, this part here. Um, even if this looks very, very tiny and small, um, in here is the whole secret, etc. because uh, Thomas and you, you have put in so much knowledge and so much work into, into uh, the, the, the work with the Depicting Thoughts picture deck, uh, picture card deck, um, that it would feel, well, it, it's a book. How many pages? It's 700 pages or so? No, 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 no. 380, I think, something like that. Well, it's so good you have to read it twice, so it's 700. No, um, yeah. no, uh, yeah, I think it's 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 really a steal, and 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 maybe sooner or later, um, because when when you performed it once here, uh, also in our studio, and revealed the the picture, it was something that I was completely missing that I would not be able to do, not yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I will. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I I really have to learn a lot more of you. And that's why I would love to invite you again um, in the near see, future. See, everything what everything what you're doing um, regarding magic is, uh, is it's a kind of art. It's art, it, and that you have to 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 burn that in your mind. It's art, and not just a fucking trick. Yeah. So perform art and not trickery. That's a, that's so so important and. I, th I say always, uh, English is not so easy for me to enter, but I say always a trick and a performance should not start and uh, uh, should not start here. It should start here. And this is really important. In the moment, you have to think about what you're doing. You are not done with the sequence. If you can just go with the flow, feel the situation, and you are you are, you are, you have trained yourself enough, then you can perform it from here, and it will not go straight to the head. In the moment you have it in your head, in your mind, it's not finished, and then it's not done by yourself. I hope it is clear what I'm trying. It, it try. makes it makes sense, yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, in the end, as as as, as we say, uh, it's not about the magic; it's about the magician. Um, and if, if, yeah. if you are just performing tricks after tricks and, and, and you are not interesting at all and, and bring this persona over that you can touch the audience and make them feel something very deep and magical, then uh, work on yourself and uh, because it could go way deeper. So don't yeah. complain if someone uh, asks you uh, if you can do kids shows as well as a magician. Uh, then maybe uh, you still have to work on your uh, performance style. Yeah. So Question: We have ever, done. Ever come up with the idea of, of doing it for kids. We are, yeah, we have. I I, I'm time. just talking to Thomas here because he had this. Uh, he told me today that he was asked about kids show. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, but, we have but done certainly the... it's a joke because it's the last thing that we want to do, right? <laughs> I, I I I have the the the, the most respect uh, for. Um, kid magicians, I never would perform for kids. When my son was five years, I did the mistake, the biggest mistake in my magic life, to perform for his friends and never ever again I did magic for kids. Never ever. It's so so difficult. It's something you have to. Your, 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 uh, See that hood was in English. Yeah, and tell you, yeah, you, you, you have to take well. You, you, take your yeah. head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, it, it, it's true. I mean, we we do a lot of jokes about them, uh, but it's uh, it's 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 an art form as well, to to uh, be able to perform for kids and then don't fall over, because these guys are doing are doing a good job, but that's not the job that we want to have. So uh, yeah, and 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 be seen as a kids performer. 
Hey, um, sorry, One hour, I distracted Christian. a little bit and, and went off a little bit. Uh, it, I think it was a super uh, interesting topic, and I think I have to change the uh, the name of the topic later on uh, so that people who will <laughs> find this uh, video will be able to uh, understand what it's all about. It's not only about hecklers and uh, disturbances, but so way deeper. Uh, thank you so much for your insights. Thanks for uh, joining me for uh, an extra hour very late here in Germany. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, I hope we will see us uh, very soon again. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. We, we just changed the, uh, the, to the, the, the name to Just Some Thoughts. Just Some Thoughts. Well, yeah. Well, if, yeah. if this would be something that if it, uh, if it turns up on your YouTube stream, would you click it? Yes or no? Maybe you yeah, would Yeah, I would. I would, I, I would, but maybe I'm, I'm not so free in thinking about this right now. Yeah. But the the guys can can uh, uh, write some comments in the chat. Yeah, maybe we should wait a, a minute or two and then we see. Uh, Robert, you're welcome. Thank you, Robert, for yeah uh, your feedback. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would. Uh, I hope you, I could. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, uh, if you have an idea, guys, uh, leave a comment down there how we should call this uh, this this stream today. Uh, what would be the topic of it? What fits better? Uh, because I think we 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 scratched several surf uh, several parts of the surface. Yeah, the extra mile. Yeah, going the extra mile. Love it. Um, pack pack big. Uh, uh, play small. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it was awesome having you here. Thank you so much and uh, staying with me for the extra hour. Rainer, we will see us very, very soon, hopefully. Yeah. Um, thanks to all the guys who joined us uh, at this hour, DJ, Tobias, Robert, etc. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see us in another week. Uh, if you have not done yet, uh, it's still Cyber Monday for all the guys who have not placed their order yet. We still have a few hours left, uh, maybe two or three hours for Black, uh, the Black Week purchases of 20% discount codes. Um, other than that, um, we will see us in the next in an, in another week. Then with uh, Philo, Mark, or I, I don't know. We will see. It's a week <laughs> from here. Anna, thank you so much. Have a great evening, guys out there. Talk soon. Until next Monday. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye guys.